guys, I'm Katy from Red Rose Readings and today I'm gonna discuss the relationship between Lisa and Park Fogan. So let's get started and see what is the status of their relationship at this moment. Oh, caring connection. So they care about each other. Wow. Okay, they care about each other. It can be platonic, it can be romantic, but all we can see here is that they care about each other. Now let's dive into the feelings and see what's happening. So, how Park Program feels about Lisa? So, it's like he is not sure. At times, he's really attracted to her, but it's like it's, he thinks that maybe he missed the opportunity with her and um, you know what i mean like um you know it was there was time <coughs> there was time in the past when he wanted her that she was the aim for him but now it's like, see how she's not looking, her eyes are closed. So now he's feeling, oh my God, my, my eyes. So now, sorry. Now he's feeling like something happened to my eye, guys, sorry. now he's feeling like he's no longer interested in him and we have the wheel here right it's kind of a wheel of fortune is always spinning around and he feels like he missed the opportunity with lisa okay because he had a chance in the past but now it's not the right time she's no longer available for him does park program have a romantic interest in lisa he has because we have the empress but as, as i said at this moment in regards to lisa park program is feeling a little bit self-conscious unsure he lacks confidence because she seems to be moving away from him okay it's like and um, as i said it's like he missed the chance with her but definitely he he has a romantic interest because we have the empress um okay does wait um how lisa feels about Park Fogel. We have the Four of Pentacles. Wow! So even though Lisa seems to be moving, you know, with her life, she still values this friendship, this connection with Park Fogel. 
Fall of Pentacles is when you do not want to let go of something, but you want to keep it forever. So as we see, she actually values this friendship with him a lot. She really is protective of this connection. Okay. Does, does Lisa have romantic interest in Park Bogan? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, and we see in this picture, one of the eyes of this rabbit is on the floor, right? So it gives me the vibe that if you wanted me, you would have done something to have me if you wanted me this is the vibe that i'm getting from lisa so she had a romantic interest in the past but it's like you know what i have been waiting for you and while I have been waiting for you, I have lost this eye. And I can't afford to wait for you any longer because I'm afraid that I'm going to lose another eye. Okay? So even though she actually has a romantic interest in him, she kind of moved on because she was sick of waiting. Okay? Or something to move forward into a romantic direction okay what else can i ask um what are park bogam's hopes for lisa for the near future probably you know he doesn't really have any hope because we have the Queen of Swords and Queen of Swords is somebody very logical, sensible and Park Bogam at this moment is like, oh, she moved on, so I have no hope. I'm not gonna pursue her and try to get her back. So he really respects his boundaries at this moment with Lisa. He knows his place at this moment and he does not have any hopes at this moment because he's trying to be logical and sensible in this situation. And he's feeling bummed out. He's really bummed out because he... I'm sorry about the noise. Um, he is in charge of this situation. That he missed the opportunity with her. There is nobody else to blame but himself. And he's aware of it. He's, very, he's a very intelligent and logical person. Okay. So what are Lisa's hopes for Park Pogan for the near future? So she's hoping she is actually very attached to him. Okay, this caring connection. She's possessive of this connection. She's attached to him, probably in an unhealthy way. She's afraid to lose him. So she wants to um She's hoping to 
be attached to him she's hoping for them to keep the friendship going she doesn't want to lose him even though she feels like this connection can be toxic especially if she moved on but she can't let him go she wants to hold on this connection even though it can be toxic because if she if she moved on to another person why is she interested to keep this friendship right um you know and and park bogam actually respects these boundaries she, park bogam respects this situation where lisa is no longer available but lisa does not want to let him go she still wants him in her life okay so probably um, she's way more interested in this connection at this moment. Um, even though she moved on, she is very um, holding on it still. But Park Bogam kind of respects the situation and doesn't want to interfere into this new thing that Lisa has in her life. Like Park Bogam knows his place at this moment. Okay, um, so let's see what will manifest between them in the near future. Patience. Yeah. You know, um, patience will manifest between them. Probably it means that their connection will have to um, be put on the uh, test of patience. You know, what I mean is that um, if this connection is strong enough, it will... Um, prove itself you know and um, both of them will have to be patient you know to kind of meet each other in the middle okay that's what i'm getting but let's clarify oh. door to spirit so I think that, you know, in the near future, in regards to their connection, they will have to be tolerant towards um, each other, you know. Lisa must respect that if she moved on to another person, then she kind of has to let you know um let uh, herself go and she should not be holding on this connection as hard as she is what i'm getting that they sh they will ha they will have to let each other evolve separately independently and if this connection is strong enough then it will stand this um, um, test of time. Okay. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And see you in the next one.